hello everyone welcome to mechanics of fluids tutorials and in this video lecture i am going to explain about what is equipotential line so here equipotential lines can be defined as a line eh, along which the potential function is going to be constant okay so on which line in a fluid flow the potential velocity potential function becomes constant eh, that line is called as your equipotential line so we can write the definition as it is a line along which it is a line along which the velocity potential the velocity potential that is of phi becomes constant becomes constant okay it is the line along which the velocity potential becomes constant that line is only called as your equipotential line so here uh, in a fluid flow along a particular line the velocity potential is becoming constant means mathematically we can represent it as phi is equal to constant and when you take the differentiation d phi d phi of constant becomes equal to zero okay now uh, we can write the slope equation for a given line along which this uh, velocity potential is going to be becoming constant so how can we uh, derive that means we need to take the di chain differentiation chain differentiation rule again that is d phi is equal to can be written as dou phi by dou x into dx plus dou phi by dou y into dy and that is equal to zero because the phi is constant so dou phi by dou x means here it will be giving the velocity in that direction with a negative sign so dou phi by dou x in place of dou phi by dou x we can write it as minus u dx plus dou phi by dou y means it is minus v dy which is equal to zero so finally we can write the equation as all negative terms if you take the negative as common and take it on the right side then we can write it as u dx plus v dy is equal to zero and finally if you take the u dx on right side then we will get v dy is equal to minus u dx now take the dx to the left side and v to the right side then it will become dy by dx is equal to minus u by okay this is the equation for finding the slope of a equipotential line okay so that is the equation for the slope of the equipotential line in a similar way we have to discuss one more line uh, that is of uh, uh, streamline constant streamline so with the help of equipotential line and constant streamline in a flow flow net can be formed so that flow net how the flow net is going to be taken place what is the shape of the flow net in the flow field that can be obtained by analyzing these two lines that is equipotential line and the constant streamline so next we try to discuss about constant streamline so next we go for constant streamline okay so what is the definition we can give for this constant streamline means it is also the same definition it is a line in a flow field along which that uh, stream function is going to become constant so what is the symbol for stream function that is of psi so this psi is going to be constant so then only uh, the line obtained can be called as your constant streamline so you, similarly if you take the differentiation of this psi function it will be giving zero and again we can get the slope equation for this constant streamline by considering the chain rule differentiation so take d psi is equal to dou psi by dou x into dx plus dou psi by dou y into dy so in place of dou psi by dou x what we can write uh, the differentiation of the stream function with respect to any direction gives the velocity opposite to that direction uh, not opposite right angle to that direction so those phi by the x will be giving us velocity v okay that is right angle to the x direction v dx plus similarly those phi by the y will be giving the velocity in x direction right angle to the direction we are considering for uh, differentiation of the psi function 
so it is of negative of u okay by the standard only it is negative of u so minus du sorry minus u dy so the automatically these two are equal to zero only and finally we can write the equation as v dx minus u dy is equal to zero now take the uh, term to the right side that is v dx is equal to we can write it as u dy and when you take the u on left side v on uh, dx on uh, right side we will get the equation as v by u is equal to dy by dx so again this dy by dx will represent the slope for the constant streamline okay by taking the ratio of two velocities we can find out the slope of the constant streamline and by these two slope values uh, we can define one property that is the appearance of the equipotential lines and the streamline so how they are going to appear means we need to take the product of the slope the product of the product of slopes okay slopes of whom means here a uh, equipotential line and the uh, constant streamline so what we'll get uh, in previously the slope of the equipotential line we got it as minus u by v and the slope of the constant streamline we got it as v by u so u u gets cancels and v v get cancels and i will get the value as one minus one so this minus one will define the position of the uh, constant sorry equipotential and constant streamline so how they are going to appear means the equipotential line is always right angle to the constant streamlines so what are the number of equipotential lines we are going to consider and those number of equipotential lines will be right angle or perpendicular to the constant streamlines at their point of intersecting at their intersecting points so we can write one property as uh, uh, the equipotential lines the equi potential lines are right angle are right angle to the constant streamlines constant streamlines at their points of intersection at their points of intersection okay that is the condition we can give to the appearance of equipotential lines and constant streamlines okay so by this again equipotential and constant streamlines uh, will be getting the another grid so that grid is only called as here flow net we have to know one more term that is of flow net what do you mean by the flow net means it is a net or a grid formed by drawing series of equipotential lines and constant streamlines if you consider equipotential lines like this for a fluid flow and similarly perpendicular to them we will get the constant streamlines okay so by drawing the series of equipotential lines and constant streamlines so whatever the net or grid we are getting that net or grid is only called as your flow net so what is the definition we can give means uh, it is a grid it is a grid or net formed by formed by drawing formed by drawing series of equipotential lines equipotential lines and constant streamlines constant streamlines okay so that is about the flow net and what is the importance of this flow net means this flow net is uh, extremely useful for analyzing the two dimensional flow 
so what is the importance of this clonate means it is useful for useful for analyzing two dimensional flow okay that is the use of the flow net okay so that is about uh, that is about uh, equipotential line and uh, constant streamline and about the flow net that we need to study in mechanics of fluids i hope you understood the explanation if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment on my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts and please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and uh, thank you for watching my video thank you all